Rubik's Master here with my promised War Command. Ah, the, the, the. Anyway, Rubik's Master here with my promised Command Center Level Four layout video. I went ahead and exploded my base so I can just go at it, and you can see what I'm doing. So, quick, um, all our defensive buildings are going to be, all, of course, all our turrets, our walls, our transformers, our power plant, our war factory, and our barracks. I'm going to try and put the and keep the barracks and war factory protected because I'm going to mess around later and try and come up with defending platoons that could actually work like a regular platoon. Like maybe try and deploy tanks out of a war factory just ahead of my first infantry platoon to try and give them more weight if the enemy would choose to attack the tank rather than the infantry. We'll see how it goes. Of course, once I unlock mortarmen, mortarmen behind a tank would probably be a really good setup. But let's see what I want to do first here. Okay, so a lot of damage comes from the war factory. I think we should probably set the war factory up. You know what? Okay, I'm just going to mess around real quick. I'm going to take that, set, take the mortar, set the mortar in the middle. Get this, put it there. And, um, where'd my other torque go? So I have one, two, three, four. Get over here. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's my rail gun. Okay, so with my railgun, my railgun's going to be a little bit weird positioning. Um, let's see, I'm just trying to figure out how well I can position these things. Okay, so let's look at how my mortar does as far as coverage. Hmm, it has a weak spot up in the middle between the two machine gun turrets. Covers down here very well. How do these machine gun turrets cover each other? Not very well. Um, of course this covers that machine gun turret very well. I do have an issue with, let's see, I wonder if, I... where's my other transformer? wonder if it can also affect, what are you doing, man? What's up with this transformer, yo? It goes from right there to being inside my stuff. Okay. Hmm, you know, for this, I may go back and try an inside the rock layout. Do I have any better rocks for this? Because I can place stuff over here by that rock, over here by this rock. I think that one has the best nook, though. Okay. Again, I'm just kind of messing around with this, just trying to see what kind of coverage I can get while also trying to defend. Wait a second, so I want my machine gun turret more out towards the front. I don't like that, that machine gun turret's too far out in the open. Okay, now those are covered pretty well by my mortar. Only issue is I don't have... Hmm. 
I'm probably going to try and keep my buildings on the outside of my setup. Just because I think that's going to make it easier. Uh, let's get these transformers in here. Wow, really, man? Why can I not put you there? Oh, can I not put you within range of another Transformer? Huh. That's interesting. Not bad. Just interesting. Let's put our power plant in there. Um, let's move you in closer. You in closer. Again, I don't understand what's going on with this transformer placement. It's just going absolutely crazy. Like, out here it's working fine. I get right here, and it's just like, noob. Hmm. Okay, let's just kind of roll with it. Okay, so my mortar is giving coverage to everything except that machine gun turret. It's not giving good coverage to. Can I move you in closer? Mm, that's a little bit better. Okay. I don't want to select you. So looking at our bubble of damage, we have that guy right there. I don't like how he's a little bit unprotected. This guy. Mortar provides good coverage to all my defending turrets. This machine gun turret defends everything except the far one. This machine gun defends all of them. Um... The railgun defends all my turrets, I believe. Maybe S13s would be able to hit that machine that machine gun turret here. All right, let's do my war factory there. Don't want to put them too close together. I would like for that tort to be within range of my transformer, though. That'd be cool. You know what? I'm just going to drop that transformer off over here. Whatever. It'll get destroyed pretty easily, but it will restrict what approach they can take. Alright, so that's all my defense building buildings. Let's work on barriers. Barriers and landmines work in tandem. Come on. Okay, there we go. Let's turn you. Have you there. Alright. We're going to get all these guys a little closer so I don't have to keep coming over here. And... What else do I want to do? All my landmines should be set up for anti-vehicle. Should be. Oh, 
I was thinking of maybe incorporating the barracks and war factory in my within my walls. But on further thinking about it, I decided against it. Yeah, so anything attacking that wall is going to be within range of my stuff anyway. I actually get a respectable amount of barriers for this player level. Very good for encompassing my defenses. Where do I want my landmines, though? Hmm. I feel like the upper corner over here is a little weak. What can I do to make it better? Really, this corner over here is my weakest spot. So I need to make sure it has as much defense as possible. But I also feel like the gap and wall up here makes this a less defendable position. What if I put you a little further up? Butted that wall against it there. I didn't click that, but okay, whatever, man. Here. And then brought my war factory back in. I feel like that makes it a lot better. Alrighty, so now let's bring in these other buildings. And we're going to try and just space them out a little bit so that it restricts where they can spawn in and how long it takes them to get to the different areas. I don't know why those random explosion animations keep happening. Nope, you want to do that. Go back where you were. Alright, and we want to keep these guys at bay over here as long as possible. Try and save that war factory. Alright, uh, do we have any other buildings? One oil factory. All right, um, hmm. Let's see how much it is to upgrade this tour to level three, because that will bolster my defenses as well. It'll make my base more intimidating in general. Cost to upgrade 25,000, that is nothing. Let's do that. All right. So what about that platform upgrade? How much does that take? 45,000, meh. I'll get that later today. All right, so that's really it for getting... What do I have to... Oh, I have that helipad to build. I had to do a little bit more work to get that. Wow, really? Okay, well, the game's going to crash when I try and load it, because that's what it does. So, <laughs> at least I got the video in before that happened. Um, if you liked it, let me know. Let me know what you'd want to see next. As I said, I'll do tutorials on anything. If you want to see something specific I do, how I work, I will uh, do that for you. Until then, have an awesome day.